Oh, and there's a huge kill to start it off by Brandon Jordan. He just hung up there and brought down the hammer. Bringing down the pop Loving it right there. Brandon Jordan is fourth kill of the game. All right. That's the first time I brought it to the Papau this year. Hey, man, it only happened once last year, and it only happens on special plays. It's going to be tough to climb back. It's an eight-point deficit with 17.1 seconds remaining. The shot clock is killed. We are not. We'll be back. Queens needed to call that timeout. Momentum all in Ryerson's favor right now. It is all Ryerson. It is all Robert Wojcik. Oh, my Wojcik! Well, it's been a long night, and you can sense some of the players, some of the fans may be getting a little tired. Not so right now. Many of them on their feet. I'm on my feet. Ryan's on his feet. We've been on our feet all night. Eggie's on his feet. Eggie! Toby Kerr joined by Ryan McKenna. Looking sharp in that pink shirt today as we uh, are pleased to bring you some OUA men's volleyball. Was that action. a whistle that I just heard from the crowd? Or? Who could have done that whistle? <laughs> that has a microphone that wasn't me. <laughs> Win. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, stop. Thanks very much, guys. I'm here with Israeli forward Daniel Ehrlich. Daniel, much better period there, at least from the Israeli perspective yourself, and another big name, Eliezer Sherbatov, making a lot of things happen there. That's like period. Take us through. Yeah, outside of the out of our zone, we're having great entries through through the neutral zone. And so I stripped up. Welcome back here to the Madame Athletic Center Coca-Cola Court. Toby Kerr joined by Ryan Zoltek here as we bring you this fourth set action. The ninth set on the evening what? has been... What's that? Ninth set between the two games this evening. It has been a lot of fun volleyball to watch. It's Ryan McKenna, by the way, folks. What did I say? You said Ryan Zoltek. Oh. Ryan McKenna. Strange <laughs> for Ryan. Ryan Zoltek, That's a, really awkward. A hybrid of my two usual broadcast partners. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I really couldn't have called you anything worse. <laughs> Honestly, though. Bit of a wealth of riches here at the Coca-Cola Court. And that ball almost makes it way up to the broadcast booth. Ryan McKenna reached for it, did not go. Man, out. I was hoping to get a souvenir there. We were just talking ah. about the last game, of course, too. That was close. Just got a... Uh, Text or a tweet, sorry, from Assistant uh, Athletic Director Stephanie White. She told me that uh, I should die for that ball, get in the game, hashtag look out, hashtag incoming. As Van Kamp just losing uh, his cool there, and he's certainly done for the night, and he's going to have to exit right by the Ryerson bench, so we'll see whether anybody has anything to say. Wish we had a microphone down there right now. Sideline reporter Tyler Zoltek, nowhere to be seen. He could be literally anywhere. Literally. He's right beside you. Yeah, he is. <laughs> we'll talk about that more in just a second. Back down to courtside, JV Mukamo with our own Tyler Zoltek. Tyler. Experiencing some technical difficulties with uh, Tyler Zoltek with JV Mukama. Listen, uh, Ryan, I imagine it's a great interview right now. It's still going on. <laughs> it looks so like a great interview. I'm sure it's just superb. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Zoltek <laughs> forgot to turn on his bike. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been one of those days. Nonetheless, the interview's still going on down on the court. All right, we got another TV timeout here. So we're going to send it over to Alan Hudis, who's on the far side of the ice in with all those fans. Alan? Thanks very much, guys. Well. We finally saw the big uh, line come to life here a few minutes ago when Jamie Y scored that second oh, goal for the Rams. And you know what? The Rams what need that big that line more than ever tonight. Thanks very much, Alan. Somebody get Alan some security over there. He's going to get mopped. <laughs> you know what the sad part about that one was? That's my roommate. 